See, guys? I told you. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen Wickland. Here are some of the scariest, spookiest TikToks that I could find for you. Halloween's approaching very soon. I love Halloween so, so much. I don't have very many Halloween videos. I don't think so. Anyways, let's start off with number one. Sleep, clown will eat me. Can't sleep, clown will eat me. Can't sleep, clown will eat me. The Can't heck? Sleep. Clown will eat me. Can't. So this video is literally ten minutes long. Can't sleep. Clown will eat me. Can't sleep. The comment section: Can't sleep. Clown will eat me. That repeats. Someone said I just get cursed. Oh my god, I hope not. Why am I actually scared? Probably because you're a kid. It's hard to say. <laughs> Kids nowadays are afraid of the easiest stuff because of all the brain rot that's on the internet. So that is disturbing. Clown will eat me. Can't sleep. Clown will eat me. <sighs> it literally goes on. Can't sleep. Clown will eat me. Literally goes on for 10 minutes. Okay, moving on. What the heck? Oh, Spanger Lecrae, let me in, it says. Oh, he just uploaded this two hours ago. I forgot my keys. Oh. Let me in. No, I don't like it. Don't look. Dude, he's gonna jump scare you. Why? Dude, uh... Too late. He's behind you. Gah! Okay, these are very subtle. They're very subtle, very good. I love Spanger look right. He is a very like it's I understand what it like it takes a lot to actually come up with a an idea for a short and to execute it. When I used to do shorts on my channel, I would literally do everything within three hours. That was a challenge I would do for myself. Were they good? No. Were my short horrors ever good? No. But they'll die. I understand how hard they can be to make, especially when you have no budget. And he does a really good job with the special effects. So we like Spanger look right. He's awesome. Moving on. That's what we should have started with. Spanger. Not that nightmare feel with clowns. Horror. Okay. All right. This is a video from horror underscore spot. <sighs> now. I am a lover of horror movies in the genre, but Terrifier, I am yet to see because I don't like gore. So, what's a good, uh, what's his name? Guys, Rob Zombie. three years. It's so like the Rob Swear Zombie I movies, get. that kind of stuff. I do not like those. Hostile, did not like it. I saw all the saws, hated them. Hate that word, but I did not like them. There is something about the Terrifier mask that gets down to my little scaredy bone in my body. So this video has already got me. Anyways, let's just see what he has to say, shall we? So he's replying to a comment from Zach that says, I swear I've seen those clowns move. Oh, come on now. Get this comment a lot still. I swear I've um, seen those clowns move. Guys, it's been three years since we got that comment and I went viral with this damn clown behind me. Guys, I'm gonna tell you guys again three years after, the clown 
It's not real. None of these clowns, they're in a life-size mannequin. Trust me, I still get it a lot. And I'm surprised, guys. It's been three years and people are still blowing me up. I'm like, you know what? Let me make a video and show you guys everything I have. So I have all the mannequins over there. And I got some new ones, too. I got, like, the nun, the exorcist, Pennywise. Wait, did the nun move? The last three years when I made that first video when I went viral with the damn art the clown over here was <gasps> looking at me guys trust me they're not y'all he's oh, he moved, he moved, he moved. i put him in a that head moved that head freaking moved so either he is messing so he can get more views more clicks what is the original video that they're talking oh my god there is someone in that mask that it moved you can see it. You can see the look right there. You can see the move right there. It moved back from because it was in this position. And you can see when he comes back, the head is moved. When he comes back, it's shifted. Well, not right there because it's already right there. You can tell it's shifted. And then it moves back right there. <gasps> There's someone in that You're mask, right? Guys, trust me. They're not real. They're not life size mannequin. Someone, it moved though it freaking moved so either you're trolling us where's the original video at this one's got wait which one is it i swear guys i get this comment a lot that the clowns move but they're not real guys they're in a life-size mannequin that's how i get all my clowns. okay everybody always that clown moved the terrifier moved 100 percent moved so this guy's like a little trolley troll a movie and stuff like that guys but wait they're not real okay they're in a mannequin they're props so i wish i could move though I why why would you wish that why would you ever wish that what else has he got nuts uh. <laughs> What a psycho laugh. Okay, what's this? Bro, still, there's for real someone in that costume. Who's gonna be in that costume? Me? I'm right here. Check it out. I told you guys, all these clowns, yeah, but all you these can, monsters. You can have a buddy. You can have a friend. Mannequin. There's no costume, there's no one in it. There's no robot animatronic bullcrap. I'm gonna take out the face. And you guys gonna see it doesn't move. I mean, it might look like it moves, but check it out. Look, because the eyes look realistic, it just looks realistic, but it's not a robot or no one's in the costume. The wall is back there, there's no one there. So, check it out. I'm gonna take out the face, you guys can see for yourself. Ready? Check it out. Mannequin, you guys hear it? Look at that. Look, bam, 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 bam. Hello. Mr. Clown. See you guys? I told you. <gasps> Why does it keep moving though? For everybody in the back row, can you please explain? Does he have an actuator in there that's like moving it? Like, Cause he didn't fully take that mask completely off. It moves. Mr. Clown. See you guys? I told you. Right there. And it's very subtle. It is so subtle. That is the slightest move that I think it can make. It like it. What? See you guys. I t told you. <gasps> I hate it. Mr. Clown. See you guys. I told you. He's creepy. This guy is on another level. So he is... Okay, listen. I'm going to read between the lines. I am extremely freaked out because that's as about as legit as you think you can get. But he also guys, did... All these clowns? All these monsters? Mannequin. There's... He doesn't pull the head completely off. The mannequin head. And you... Hold on. Move that back. Play that here. Do you move. hear something? I mean, like it might look like it moves, but check it out. Look, because the eyes look realistic. It just looks realistic. But it's not a robot or no one's in the costume. The wall is back there. There's no one there. So check it out. I'll take out the face. You guys can see for yourself. Ready? 
Check it out. Mannequin. You guys hear it? Look at that. So even when he puts it back on, you can hear something like there's something and also when he you touches the head it's hard yeah look it bam, bam, bam. could be hi sweetie it could be the styrofoam but also he, he is a special effects kind of a person he could just have it set up so it just slightly moves oh my god i don't know listen i don't know i don't mess around too much with dolls in fact right now i have a ouija board that i've had for five six seven years and i am honestly thinking it is a huge reason for my bad luck like my bad luck in my life has started since i got this ouija board and i low-key want to get rid of it but i got it from the winchester house when they used to sell ouija boards they don't anymore so i'm like what do i do with it i don't want to get rid of it but i should i really should because that thing is haunted or possessed or... But I don't think I should own it no more. Let's move on from the scary clown business. The, oh my god, I forgot about the scary clown that's going to eat me at the beginning with Bart. Honest to goodness. Wait, finish my comment. I was not writing a comment to him. Guys, three... What's this? Oh, a song. Makes everything creepy. Oh, she's really good. Wow. I didn't need that in my life. Let's see it one. Oh, wow. That's a face only a mother can love. Am I, am I right? Hi, baby girl. Do you want to go psycho potty? Do you got to go psycho poopy? All right. So this video, I need a little bit of help with. I can't figure out, is this a light source coming? Just watch the video. Let me, and please, if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. <laughs> In reality, it is a man's true destiny, which is always within himself. I haven't been to Vegas since to see this, but I need to see this dome. Explore your future. Explore your future. Explore your future. But it's so high up. It's definitely so. Here's a couple of theories. One, it's edited in. Two, that's obviously a light source coming from the dorm, beaming up. Oh my God! Have you ever seen such a, a strong beam of light shine up into the cosmos? And can they see that from the space station? Can they see Vegas shine that light up in the... I don't understand the beam. Someone says, but how did he do the beam of light out of the sphere? Let's read some comments on that one. Didn't you notice it was from hand of that dude? Watch again closely. Because, like, yeah, exactly. Clear from the guy's hand. So I'm not going to get anywhere with the comment section. <laughs> Oh man, everyone's putting laughing emojis on that one. NPCs. I know, right? That's why I'm just. The, mo the majority of the world is filled with NPCs. I know this. Why did I die laughing to this? The comment section is unbelievably hilarious. I love it more than actual the actual videos sometimes. And someone's like, yeah, we're not allowed to text and drive. I know. Can you imagine how many car accidents have been caused from this dome? I can't even imagine being able to drive up to that light without someone getting smashed or rear-ended. Now, how do I explain this to my insurance? So no one is actually talking about if they've seen this in person and someone said, had me until the beam. Someone said, sorry, but there's no way to project like light that doesn't exist. So I've been, I, and I'm on board with him, I feel, because that's where I'm out in the hell because of how far it projects out uh, way past beyond the camera being shot i do know i have seen i've been to light shows um where people do have beam projector lights like this but i don't think they shoot that high up in the air 
this is something I would need. I need some help on. That's what I'm. That's where I'm getting at with this. But is this an actual? Because I mean, we're gonna skip. Was that just edited in? Because it makes the whole side of the dome glow and everything. And I know they can do that too with lighting. I love how someone's like, couldn't you see it was coming from the guys? Literally though. Is this just edited in? And we're all stupid. So confused on the light. Okay, that's cray cray for shay zay. For shay zay. <laughs> We gotta get off the comment second. Again, this is supposed to be creepy, scary. Spooky. Spooky. What's this? On September 27th of 2024, a woman well, named Jalen immediately video. grabs her phone okay. to record something on camera. It isn't often the case that this happens, but tonight, it occurred once more. Jalen had been lying in bed while doing work on her laptop when something noticeable appeared from the corner of her eye. Now, given that this incident took place at her grandparents' house, a place abundant with numerous vintage wait, items, wait, 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 she wait. finds it unsurprising that this happened. Hold on. We're not going to do this. I have this one, but in shorter form. So, is this the video? This terrifying video yes. comes from Cheeky Same Cheeky. video. I'll tag but it below. And while spending some time with her grandfather, shorter, a lot shorter. Dolls, Two minutes she shorter. Sees something in the corner of her eye, so she begins to record because she believes that one of the life-size dolls is either haunted or cursed. And given its uncanny-like appearance, <sighs> one couldn't blame her. Now after feeling completely unsettled, she Why leaves the room the but eyes? never stops recording. And this is what happens next. Creepy. Take a look. Sorry, this thing needs oil. What was that? Now after seeing the what doll move the corner that of her sound? eye and the door seemingly closed Who by itself, up? she returns only to find no logical explanation. So she decides to confront the doll, and what happens next is the terrifying. heck. And the balloon. And the balloon. Why do you have a balloon in there? You can do it again. I won't watch. Oh, there's a shadow that just came into the room. <gasps> Wait. And the hand's moving. Hmm. Okay, wait. This terrifying video comes. Creepy. You know what I mean? The balloon scared me the most. I'm not going to lie. That thing was like, a, that's pure nightmare fuel right there. Secondly, it would be fine, but then there's, there's this shadow that moves into the room right before he moves his hand. So I'm thinking that someone was involved. It's that or it's really haunted and we just saw a shadow person coming to inhabit the body and someone's like whatever the shadow was it definitely influenced the doll exactly it influenced it whether it was possession or they're just making scary tiktok and trying to make it look like the doll is haunted either way this is this creepy video <laughs> It's on theme. I'm just saying. It's on theme. <laughs> Don't come at me. <laughs> so we're getting close to the end of the show for tonight. And uh, I have submechanophobia and thalassophobia. And that is a topic of conversation that will be on here because it scares me. I thought I was over. In fact, this is doing Im immersion therapy. I thought I was over it. 
I am not. It still affects me. Someone told me to look this up and I wish I had oh, it. Yeah. This is part 76 of some of the worst submechanophobia things I've ever seen. This is the Costa Concordia or the modern day no. Titanic. This happened uh, in 2012. The thing is huge. So these images that I looked up of this ship abandoned actually made me like almost nauseous. So if you have really bad submechanophobia, this one's going to be really bad for you, I promise. This is it. After it hit the reef, it hit the reef at night. There were only 32 unalived people compared Aww, to Titanic's 1500. So sad. big, big difference. Uh, it's this is with modern day technology. No they had what. enough lifeboats. They were very close to shore. A lot of differences. This image is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my life. So they couldn't tow it back in for two years. So it sat out there abandoned for two years, like right off the coast of Italy. Divers would go into it. I'm going to show a video of divers actually messing around in there. It is sickening. Why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? I don't know. Also, for comparison, this is how big it was divers compared to the Titanic. It was about four times as large. Of course it was. Listen. Oh, oh I stopped it on the wrong spot. Divers are another level of, like, they got some cojones. You know what I mean? Some real cojones. Oh, that's creepy. This image is sick. Uh -huh. I hate the fact that you can see like the pool and stuff that was on top of it. <laughs> this is an image from when the divers went inside. Gross. Watch this video and let me know how you're feeling because it, the beginning of this video specifically made my stomach drop. Let me know how you're feeling. crap oh, oh no the worst thing is is the first time they ever went into this there was dead bodies floating around I think that's what makes it really haunting it's a final resting place not only for the ship but for people oh I feel so uneasy. Uh, how can you, when you see people taking photos, how? <gasps> That's an SCP. That's a straight up SCP. Right? Someone told me to look this up and I wish I had it. Girl. Stop haunting my feed with your stupid submechanophobia crap because I can't take it no more. This one's got eight, eight point six million views. Okay, me and my dad were just sitting here watching Fox News, and I think we just accidentally uh, seen um, Fox News uh, just showed uh, either angels or demons coming in after a missile just hit, and maybe it's a Grim Reaper. I don't know, but it has wings. Go ahead, Dad, play it. You'll see it. it starts in from up here, it comes down and does a swirl, it comes down and there's another one that pops in over here. She's contributor and former national security advisor to President Trump and VP Pence. First, your reaction. Now rewind it in slow-mo. What the heck was... <clears throat> the heck was that? Come on, Dad. Ooh. Now fast forward it in slow-mo, how you did it earlier, because I could see its wings flapping and everything. Now fast forward it in slow-mo, how you did it earlier, because I could see its wings flapping and everything. What's taking so long? Like, what's taking so freaking long? Like, Dad, come on, fast forward it already. Oh, because it's in slow-mo, it's taking forever. Oh, I see. What? The heck? It's first your reaction. You think it's a bird? Wait. No, there's two of them up in there. Yeah. No. They don't ever show the second one. It's first your reaction. Is that? Oh, that's bad editing. For a second there, I was starting to really wonder, but you can see this thing. It's first your reaction. Right, right there. It doesn't, they don't stop it. Eclipse, excuse me, eclipse into the building. Right? 
right? Action. Yeah. Did. Yeah, eclipse in front of the building, not behind it. At least that's the way it looks. I don't know. I uh, this is one of those that I saw pop up. It's if they showed the second one they're referring to. Yeah, the other one's right there. I think. Yeah. Right there, I think. It pops in here and then just disappears because it pops. So they don't show it. Um, that's pretty. That's like what the heck. What? Do y'all think that is an angel, a demon, a special, uh, clever editing? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what to make of this one. Up and everything. I, I mean, obviously. In Israel, too. Hmm. Hmm. That one's tough. I don't know if... Let's just watch it one more time. It's spiraling down. It's first your reaction. You think it's a bird? Huh. Oh, there's two of them out there. Yeah. Or does why well, he's like, no, there's two of them out there. It's just like there can't be two birds. Someone's like, that's toothless. Huh. And I am I'm stumped on that one. Which that's been the trend lately. All these videos that I've been showing you have been, they've been coming across my feed far and few, but they're to a point where I am, okay, you know, I'm not getting the same old usual TikToks that I normally get. And uh, but that's okay with me because these are the ones that we really want to dip in and explore. What the F? These geese just disappeared into thin air. Can someone please explain this? They're flying, they're flying, they're flying. And then they're gone. And then they're gone. And then they don't come back up. So, I'm having a hard time. I understand that they could possibly have flown behind a wave somewhere, I guess. And they cut out the video before the geese are back into frame. I get that, but where's the wave? phone camera is from Timu. <laughs> Someone said they reached 88 miles per hour. <laughs> oh. I, 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 bro, what wave? There, that you can still see some of them right there. But then they never come out. Like they don't, where are they? Where, where, where are they? It's called tampering or editing the video. It's gotta be that. It's gotta be this person did, did the very, that very thing. They tampered or ever edited this video. Or it's perspective. Man, that ocean. Have you ever seen those videos where the ships, you know what I mean? They look like they're floating above the water, the thing. Simulation. Just saying. Simulation. All right. And this one is cool. If you are a fan of horror at all, these keep popping up in my White feed. Why, please? please? It's behind the scenes of um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, let me take my own. Yeah, I got 
try to I'm going to set because the dead air you're not using, you're on crane. Exactly. I got I got a cut away from things like that. Yeah. No, here. here we go. And just lay off. can't do out. Howling, screaming. Oh, got it. Out. And you will kill me. Roll! Roll! Speed! Pull them up. Remember to arch your back and do those kicks. And action! <laughs> this stuff is so cool. Mm -hmm. Got it. it looks great. And, oh, great. Great. Is it so a triple bad. Bad. Just a tad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All I right. heard it's, that, Linda. Right. And it gets sicker than this one. Turn oh, off the camera. camera. <laughs> I love those and they keep popping up on my feet. I have a few other ones. Maybe I'll share like in another video, but let's end it on a let's let's just send it on a cute Halloween one. Or maybe a jump scare. May I'll do jump scare. <laughs> eh, what's this? Walking down the street and this is happening. The hell's going on here? Halloween. <sighs> this is my love language. I love special effects and props and spooky Halloween stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's Beetlejuice. Oh, is that sick? That that's super creative. They're like, I'm not putting out a bunch of lawn ornaments. I'm gonna have one main piece, one big, one main focal point piece. Oh, that's incredible. That's, inc the that's incredible. That's the kind of stuff I would see here in my neighborhood. Honest to God. What's this? I hit it already. I hit it already. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody, here are some of the scariest TikToks and most unexplainable viral TikToks that I could find for you. Let's Happy Halloween. The good as could you love her? Oh, haunted, haunted house. Oh, could you love me now? 